everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Deadly Premonitions Origins. I almost said four for some reason. In the last episode, we brought a picture to Polly, which reminded her the day of the days of her youth. And then we went to say hi to uh, Forrest Kaysen, and Willie took our human bone and put it in his doghouse. But hey, we got it back. In this episode, we're going to talk to Brian, the insomniac who works at the graveyard, and the twins again. And I just noticed Kaysen's license plate is red to... Does that say red to re or red to red? I think that's a second E. Red to re. Whatever the fuck that means. Anyway, let's head off, shall we? Red to read? No, then it would be R-E-A, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, I think we want to go this way. Hold on, let me look at the map again. As soon as you get in the car, it makes everything go, like, wibbly for me. Okay, so yes, I am correct in my path. Also, there's a card along the way, so I'm obviously going to try and pick that up, if at all possible. I think we can turn in what we need to with uh, Wesley at this point. If we want to, that is. Wait. We're almost there. Right here. Oh, hey, red tree. Whose house is this? Is this George's house? I don't know why I thought that, but it just suddenly occurred to me. Is this George's house? I mean, I could believe it. Hold on, I'm gonna... Ha-ha! Okay. Well, whoever's house it is, it is closed. Wait, I could just look at the map. Yes, this is George's house, I was correct. Cool beans. Ha-ha! Huh, a lot of red ivy on this house on the back. Weird. Oh, hey, George Woodman. Makes sense, his house. Why wouldn't he uh, have his card here? You know, this is a big old red tree, huh? Guess he bought one from Kaysen. Seems weird, though, doesn't it? Like, there's all these regular trees, and then in the dead center, here's a big old red tree. And it kind of looks like it only has, like, really two branches that sprawl. Oh, no, it has four branches. Okay. But it looks like you could maybe, like, put a little bowl in there or something and then set that bowl on fire and it would look like an Olympic torch or something. Is that weird that I thought of that? Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Ah, and I see that's the garage. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Where's my car? Ah, Jesus. Oh, here it is. Figured it out. Don't worry. I figured it out. Okay, now that we picked up that card, it's time for us to get our move on, eh? Alright, let me just make sure I have everything sorted here. I want to go on the right path, right? I check so I don't get lost. Yes, the right path. The right is the right. The right is right rather. And I think we want to go right the entire way. After we stop at Brian's, of course. Well, I mean, I guess he lives there. Okay, so that was Bupkis. Anything I want to talk about while we're driving, or should I just cut this? I mean, I... We've technically been to Brian's before. We just haven't really looked around, I suppose. Oh, here we are. I don't know where they're going to park my car, so... Let's see what's going on around here in Brian's neck of the woods. I know there's a cart around here that I'm going to want to grab. Maybe I should have just driven the... Drove the car all the way up here. Instead of running through, now that I think about it. I mean, it looked like that was where you would park, but... 
There's nothing saying I can't, like, park it here, I guess. That was kind of dumb of me. Oh good, it's not locked. I was a little worried there. Huh, it's red trees here too. Interesting. Uh, hold on. Got my shovel. Oh. Okay. Huh. Open grave. Looks like someone else can't sleep around here. But why leave such a comfy grave? Why indeed. Oh, hey, Brian. A wild dog took bones from the grave. Are there many wild dogs around here? Someone dug up grave. So a grave robber started it. And then in comes the wild dog. Skull, breast bone, <laughs> hip bone, left hand, right hand, left leg, right leg, seven bones taken by dog. Agent, could you find them? I can't, but need them back. You're the keeper of the graveyard. I understand your disposition, but I have my own job to do. Hmm. Please, agent, look for bones. I can't leave here. Please. I, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Zack, he's a really persistent guy when he wants to be. Hmm. Very well. I'll make a mental note to help him. Good. I mean, we technically already did start, so, you know, this works out. Okay, that's what the bones are for. Glad we figured that one out. Ooh, more things destroyed. I hope you didn't care for these, by the way, Brian. I have a thing against wooden partitions. I can't stand them. No, hold on. No, wrong way. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, where's the card here? Oh wait, no, it wasn't a card. There was a bone here. All the way over that way. Okay, I can grab that. At least there's one nearby, you know? Ah, wait, hold on. Actually, I have infinite ammo for this gun, so... How about I just shoot the box? Apparently there was also explosives. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, you don't randomly shoot at things. This was for your benefit. Anyway, I'm gonna randomly shoot at this shit now. Nice. Excellent. Can I go through here? Well, I see a dog in there. And I think I see the bone. Can I manage to get through this way? Or am I gonna have to be uh, crafty? Excellent. Okay. It might be better to just use the shovel, it's faster. It was important to me to do that. Yeah, I think it's better to use the shovel for breaking these. It's a lot faster. Got it. Okay, for these, I might want to use the gun. Or I can't hit them with the gun. All right, fine. I see how it is. Oh, wait. There. Huh, a lot of these red trees here. Wonder why they're planted here in the graveyard. I mean, there's a, gotta be a reason, right? Hello, puppy. 
Are you the dog who took the bones? This is so bad dog then, but you're adorable, so I'll let it slide. This time. Got it. Wonder if I can just walk to Brian and say, hey, here's some of your bones, man. All right. A left foot bone. Actually, it looks more like the leg than a foot, but okay. Human bone. This might be one of the bones that Brian wanted me to find. Most likely, yes. No bones about it. Oof, I'm getting low on this one. Do I have to walk the long way around or will this let me out? Long way it is then. Okay. No, this is fine. I don't care. I'll walk the long way around. It's whatever. I kind of care. Almost there. It's a little bit farther. And I'll talk to Brian and give him two of his seven bones. Five more to go. Do you want to go on a bone hunt? Nah, I want to see what else we got going on. Oh, I can't take a green tomato. There we go. Got a green tomato. Did you find the bones? Yeah, I found some. Is this one of them? That is a bone. Thank you. Six more. All right. Cool. I did find another bone. This one was here. Kind of slacking because you didn't find this one. Is this one of them? That is a bone. Thank you. Five more. All right. Well, we'll have to pick up those bones when we get a chance. Oh, hey. Get more green tomatoes. Huh. Right. You know, this would probably be a good place for you to rest if you wanted to do it somewhere in the middle of the day. I mean, you can get food there. There's a resting spot. Huh. I mean, it's not the best food, but it's food, I suppose. I'm glad the bones thing wasn't like another murder that happened, I suppose. It'd be interesting if it was, but... It would also kind of suck because then we'd have to solve like two murders and we already got our hands full trying to figure out Anna's murder. Although I'd say we've made some good leaps and strides in that case. Thanks to talking to her mother. Ooh, what's that way? Let me take a look at the map. Oh, wall be dipped. There we go. I have another bone along the path if I go that way. Well, then why the hell wouldn't we go that way? All right. Well, then, ladies and gents. I think we're going to pick up our car, drive through here, go that way, get another bone. We're not going to stop at uh, Brian's again after picking up that bone. I kind of like doing them in chunks, you know. Getting one or two and then just handing them off. Feels like a good idea to me. All right, let's hop in the Quint Mobile. I honestly forgot what the name of the model of the car was. When I edit the video where we get this car, I'll have to pay extra close attention so I can remember then. But that's gonna be a while from now. I think episode 11 just recently went up. Woo! That was fun. Anyway. Oh boy. Easy there. Steady, girl. Okay. Hmm? No, nothing. Just my imagination. Well, right then. Alright. Let's see. Before we go anywhere else. No, it's not here. It's over. Okay. But there are boxes that need to be shattered.
I demand these boxes get shattered. It's important to me. Even if it's not really important, I want them shattered. Nothing in them, though. I will have you destroyed, box! Mark my words. There. Even though there was probably no reason for me to do that, I am glad it was done. They were an affront to nature, those boxes. They shouldn't be here. How dare they exist! Okay, I need to stop smacking into the walls here. Well, hills. They're hills more than walls, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway! Bone should be right over here. So that puts us at three bones if we find the one here. Hmm. But where is it? Huh. This one isn't just kind of lying around. Maybe you have to do something special to find this one. Hmm. I mean, I have a shovel. If it's buried somewhere, I could dig it. But then I'd need, you know, to know exactly where it is. I kind of just have an inkling with this one. Okay. Well, that sucks. But hey, we know where this one is, I guess. Maybe those other two were just freebies and I'll have to do something to be able to get the others. I suppose. But why would the dog bury the other bones and not those two? Hmm, weird. Anyway, let's be off. We've got two twins to talk to and do whatever the hell it is their creepy asses want us to do. Oh no. Come on. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. I'm not tired. Are you tired? Because I'm not tired. Actually, I should probably check. Are we tired? Nah, we're fine. Nothing a quick coffee wouldn't fix. I'll take a milk coffee. The one he likes best. And let's have... I got a lot of these, so might as well take a lollipop. Because we're not, like, the highest on that. Yeah, you're small on that, too. Let's also grab some pickles. All right. I wonder who made these roads here and what real purpose they serve. I mean, they're a shortcut for me, but... Like, they have to serve some purpose, right? Could it be that these were like, I don't know, roads they could transport lumber on faster? Maybe. This was a lumber mill. Well, a town with a lumber mill. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I have 69 damage. Nice. Oh, never mind. It's gone. I was gonna say I can't take any more hits and then immediately took a hit while saying it. Weehaw! What the hell? What am I hitting? Oh, I must have got a cone stuck under the car, and then it kept hitting it. Well, it looks like we're going to have to uh, a deal with that. Yeah, at some point we'll have to go back to the gas station. Luckily, it's still open. I believe our uh, meeting with Lily Ingram is going to be at 9 so we still got plenty of time. I think it's like 3.43 in game. <laughs> ah, shit, their house is closed. Well, I guess I didn't come here for nothing, because further down the road I can get a card, I guess. I have to figure out when their house opens. That sucks. Damn. On the way back, I can see if they're open, I guess. If not, I can look up when their house opens and then go in. Huh. Weird. Wait! The card was here. Actually, no, there's two cards here. Interesting. I'll get this card first. Seems like a good place to pick up a card. 
How many cards were there? 25, I think. What's over here? Oh shit, it's another bone! Oh, hot diggity daffodil! And it's right in the open. Yep, a lot of shovel. A one shovel. I still got this one. Yep. Okay, we're good. All right, let's see what this gets me. Right foot bone. It's actually a leg bone, but that's fine. A human bone. This might be one of the bones that Brian wanted me to find. It is indeed. And now we have three out of seven. Four more to go. All right. Things are going quite nicely, I think. Quite nicely indeed. Now we just got to pick up whatever card this is over yonder way. Since there's police tape here, I'm guessing this was where Anna was murdered. But was this card not here before? That is a can of pickles. Yeah, this is where Anna was murdered. Yikes. It looks like there's more area to wander around over here. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to find the damn card, but... Maybe it's like higher up or something? I don't know. Worst case scenario, I can cut till I find, and we're back to the front. Well, that was a waste. But it's fine. Like I said, I'll find that motherfucking card. You mark my words. It's here. I'ma get it. Yep. Time to walk. There's the pickles. Cards should be around here somewhere. I don't see it in there. Could it be something that... Is it in the tree, maybe? Oh, hello. Got it! Graham! There she is. Okay. Good. And I replaced those pickles I ate not too long ago. Nice. Alright, let's be off. Should have known it was something where I had to shoot something out of a tree like with the crime case. And it makes sense it'd be on a ground since this is where she was found. Man, this is a long, long path. Well, not really. It's just a circular path around the entire area. All right. Time to get back in the car and pop the next card. Here we go. Up to... Man, it starts really sluggishly, this card, I feel. Or car, I feel. La words. Whoa! Bumpy road, huh? I think we're doing pretty good with collectibles now that I think about it. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. York, you worry too much. We're fine. Don't even worry about it, my guy. My dude. My bro. Ah, and there's the card. Nice and easy. Then we'll make our way back down to where the Ingram children and uh, the grandpa is. What do we got? Michael Tiltson. Weird he's up here, but okay. I mean, I'll take the card. Let's see, we got two vending machines and a phone. 
But what is all the way up here? Oh, interesting. Let's look at the milk barn, see who's there. Hmm. Not really seeing anyone. That sucks. I feel like that was kind of wasted. I mean, then again, kind of wasted regardless. Because it looks like you only get to see one shot of it because it didn't allow me to move anything around. What about Sweary65? What's going on around there? Nothing, I assume, because it's the daytime and no one would be there. But doesn't her check? Some motorcycles over there. Can't move the camera around, but it's definitely closed. I'm gonna look at all three, obviously. I mean, we came all this way, why not? Doesn't say that it's closed, I don't think. Or does it? It's kind of hard to see the text from here. And it's like yellow on yellow, so there's no way I could really see. Huh, but this is good to know, that I could look around town at these particular points. Interesting. Very interesting. It's also weird they give you a view of into town instead of, like, the forest around here, which I feel like is the reason you would come here normally. Hmm? Well, it looks like there's something down over that way. What is over that way? Huh. Guess it's a fishing place. I don't know. Anyway! How did I get out of here? Right, this way. Figured it out, don't you worry. And I mean, all things considered, regardless of what we're doing, we should probably head back to Brian since we found another bone. I mean, he's on the way. Why not, you know? Oh, we are as far away as we could possibly be from the A&G diner, huh? Alright. Alright. I'm probably going to skip some of this trip. There's no reason to keep it in. It's not like York's going to say anything interesting at this juncture. Unless he does. I will continue to check the talk button just to be sure. <laughs>